world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Okay, this is a box from a new company, niftygifts.co.za. But the actual product inside is also from a new company. Okay, let's get into this. Inside our box we get this beautiful little cord with dogs and cats and things on it. Then we also get beautiful brown paper. Let me just get that away. And then we get this thing. Okay. By Huckleberry. Um, first pocket knife. Four in one multi tool with beech wood handle to carve, saw, cut, and punch. And then it shows us a thing there that says blunt point. Okay, but then it's a sharp knife. We have a saw, scissors, and an awl. And then on the beautiful beech wood, it says Huckleberry. Connect with nature, explore, create, and play. Okay, and then we have marshmallows on a stick, and a campfire, and a few pine trees, and the Huckleberry thing. And then there at the top, it says Huckleberry supports children, nature, and something very small. We have beautiful mountainscape over there. And then Kikkerland. Okay, now, Kikkerland or Kikkerland um, is, as far as I could remember, because I read this and yeah, that was a week or two ago, so I forgot again. That's like, a, that's the trademark name of the company, but it's like a joke about the Netherlands. Um, it's something, means something like Frogland. Okay, so because it's always raining over there, yeah, people call it Frogland. Okay, now over here we see a lot of things. Okay, there we see. Pocket knife is packaged with everything you need for outdoors. Beach with handle, with stainless steel, 420, saw all, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then all kinds of things. And then, where's the stuff I wanted to show you? There's the something else. The wood is very well managed. And it shows you how to cut and all and saw and things and then there at the bottom it says you and canada kickerland designs brooklyn uh, new york usa and then europe the other thing okay so this thing okay i'm gonna explain that to you now designed in the netherlands made in china okay so the the ceo of this company is a canadian uh, uh, guy from the netherlands okay the company is now in um, America, okay, in the USA, but he still uses designers from all around the world, and these things get um, produced all over the world. Okay, so now this one was designed by somebody from the Netherlands, and it was made in China, okay, which is great because I could actually afford it. Um, I bought my daughter a, uh, a knife recently, and of course, the little boy, I told him, you can get a knife when you turn seven. Okay, he did not fall for that trick. I am using my Stanley. What's this thing? The before I cut off my hand. The Stanley two-in-one thing. I don't know. Um, I've got a video on it. Check it out. Stanley something. Um. Yeah, I have been using this. It started rusting a bit okay um what was i saying oh my son okay so my son is completely moaning about everything now and he says i don't love him and his sister always gets everything um and he gets nothing and he's five now so yeah this is not what i wanted but anyway so i started looking around and i saw the um victory Knox my first knife and that was very expensive they're nice well not very expensive it's like i think 700 rand somewhere about there um the little sd classic is nice but it's very small and the way the boy handles knives i need something more robust okay because yeah he yeah anyway he's gonna cost me a lot of money one day um so then i looked at that open l one but that only has the one blade and that, yeah, because sister's got a knife with a few things, he also wanted that. Okay, now he's five now, so he will be only using this under supervision. But 
this feels quite good. The blocky handle actually fits my hand very nicely. So it should fit this little stupid kid hand very nicely. We have a little lanyard at the bottom. These scales feel really great. I like the huckleberry thing there. Um, I was a big fan of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Good walk and talk on this thing. Doesn't have a super hard pull, but it does have a very nice um, snap at the end. Okay, then let's see. What's the next thing? Okay, we have a saw. It feels a bit flat. You know, normally the, I don't know, the curve or the toothed side is fatter than the spine so that when it cuts it doesn't bind this one feels quite flat so i don't know if that will be a problem okay the teeth are sticking out a bit so they are a bit wider than this but not by a lot okay you understand what i'm saying when i say normally if it's a good one like a victory Knox or something um the spine is normally a bit thinner than the bottom part just so it doesn't bind while you are sawing now this one doesn't do that Okay, nice crisp spine. If you okay, you're not gonna strike. Well, maybe you will strike ferro rods one day. What's happening there? Already it's touching something. Or am I being stupid now? No, I'm not being stupid. It is touching. Okay, let's see. Bad kicker lint. Am I doing something wrong? What can possibly still be in the way? Oh, this scissors. Okay, so we will have to see what's going on there. Anyway, we have scissors. They actually feel like they can cut. Do I have something to cut? Yeah, I do. Perfect. Okay, so the little scissors work very nicely. Uh, let's see if they will close. Oh, they close nicely. Stupid saw. Uh, so you will have to open the scissors every time you want to close the saw. Okay, that's bad. I will see if I can do something to just bend it slightly. Okay, and then let's check the all. The all is fine. It clicks nicely. Not too hard to open. This saw thing is bothering me a lot now. Ah, that's bad. Okay, so whenever you want to close the saw. Wait, let's just quickly see. If I... <laughs> okay, so you just have to give it some love for it to work. You see, my father... Al no, oh, yes. My father always said, with enough violence you can... Fix anything or break anything. Okay, let's just see if this blade is still opening and closing nicely. Yes, it is. Okay. I think maybe you can just tap it slightly if you think you need to open or close it. But for now, this seems to be sharp again. Ah, oh, I hate you so much, Kickerland. Okay. So when you want to buy one of these, please just make sure you either... Uh, I'll pin it and show you later. But yeah, it definitely has to move over a bit. Okay, so a bit more force and then it will be fine. But it feels fantastic in hand. It looks nice. And for the price. Okay, let's do this again. For the price. This thing was 250 Rand. 250 Rand. That's slightly over $10. $11. $12 max. Okay, so it's not a lot of money. For 420 stainless, this stuff, the whole idea about helping kids across the world. I don't see any gapping or any... Oh, wait, there's a bit of a gap. Okay, so maybe I just need to give it a tappy tap to fix that. And then we should hopefully be fine with our saw dilemma. But I'm pretty sure this blade is going to see a lot more action. Okay, they say it's dull at the point, but it's definitely sharp over there. And it feels quite sharp. Let me just quickly see. 
Hmm. Okay, now it might not be as sharp as I said it was. See, you can never feel with your fingers unless you are cutting them. Okay, so there we go. Huckleberry, designed in the Netherlands, made in China. First knife, which I will have to go beat with hammer now. All of you, stay safe, happy, have a good one, goodbye. Okay, before you go away all despondent, I quickly gave this a little tap. You cannot even see the marks. I used a little cloth thingy. You can see this one actually moved in a bit. And now it seems like all my problems have gone away. So... I am feeling extremely happy that my little huckleberry is huckleberry focus that my little huckleberry is working now goodbye